It's always growers on mind because we are growers and we, we do understand a lot of the issues that these growers are going through and we try to move that needle uh, to their favor. So we really are working on creating an orderly market for them so that they can keep farming, they can pass the business on to their sons and their daughters. So I don't think that it matters if you're a corporate farmer or if you're a family farmer. I mean we all have a common goal which is to sell our blueberries at the best price possible and that this organization helps us do that. The reason we established the U.S. Ibush Blueberry Council was to get a wider uh, participation amongst the industry and the market development and the promotional activities and the health research activities of the of the industry. I've been working with uh, you know the blueberry industry now for three years, and they are doing so many incredible things as far as health research. The assessments that the growers have paid have allowed our research committee to actually solicit proposals from top universities around the world. This mystique has been built up, and that, that's kind of where we are in research, but right along the way, the consumers, 99% of them, understand, maybe they don't understand why, but they understand blueberries are good for them to eat. I think there's been two studies done um, so far on blueberries since the program's been around, and both of those studies have shown that the program has helped to uh, build demand and help improve producer prices. I think that uh, the main function of the council would be to defend our industry, We're going from the crisis to the research to the promotion, how we defend the industry to keep a healthy business for our growers, not only in here but also in other parts of the world. We're, we're past the little blueberry industry. We're, we're getting into the big leagues now. We didn't even have a good practice committee uh, four years ago, uh, but we saw a need because of the changing environment uh, that the blueberry industry is going through, uh, from food safety to the current issues that we have, to media training, uh, which is vital and important. And if one of our growers has a problem, we will uh, rally around that problem. You know, I don't have a legal department. I don't have a horticulture department. I don't have a breeding program. And so as an individual, that's, that's a challenge. I hope that uh, we don't face a crisis in the future, but if we face one, um, I think that we will prepare to, to deal with a crisis in a better way because we have uh, our organization working on that behalf. So much wonderful work is being done. You have uh, people like Allison Sweeney as our spokesperson, going out into the social media side, using all the different uh, media channels uh, uh, to get the message out. I went to the Blueberry Boot Camp, and uh, it was a great uh, learning uh, weekend where we talked about you know the different versatility of blueberries and uh, and different uses and different techniques. The uh, larger trends are definitely, uh, you know, su supplanting uh, a, a, an ingredient often unhealthy with uh, with the flavor of adding blueberry back in. Oh, the reaction's phenomenal. People say, like, I never thought to use it in this way. I didn't know you could use blueberry in this way. Look at uh, what's happening with the uh, Little Blue Dynamo branding. You know, the consumer base is really picking that up. I think we've set a high bar for ourselves. I mean, we've had some phenomenal success. The growers have seen the uh, wisdom of making more funding available right along. We've, we're increasing the, uh, uh, the assessment, so we're going to have more dollars to work with. We have amassed enough positive data in the research committee uh, from these proposals to really take the research to the next level. In the food industry, there's a continual turnover of research and development so we want to make sure that blueberries get into these new products as they're developed. Diversity equals stability. All you have to do is look at that growth curve, the wave, the, the, the increased production. And if that product doesn't have a place to go, the price is going to drop. I mean, every day there's a growing interest in blueberries, uh, I would say, all around the world. Um, Korea had absolutely no frozen blueberries going in 
We did a little bit of promotion. They got blueberry crazy. They call it blueberry fever. And all of a sudden, Korea is the largest market for frozen blueberries. I think the, the goals that we have is to uh, to make blueberries something that's consumed from, from Baltimore to Bombay and from Toledo to Tokyo. We want the, the world to be consuming our blueberries. We've been really, really fortunate. We have great people. Uh, the Department of Ag has worked, uh, USDA has really worked very well with us. And um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great journey. It really has. And it's, uh, it was the smartest thing we could have done.